if you recall workout 2 in that we were setting criteria here and then we were clicking a button and it used to go and fetch data from an access database and then it used to populate it here this is what I had shown in workout 2 now I'm going to show you that how you can directly write into a text file and very much into CSV kind of format you know comma separated format not necessarily a CSV file but a comma separated format why will you need it you need it especially if the output is huge you know if output is probably let's say more than 1 million then you get into problem because Excel can probably handle only up to 1 million data so what is the way out so let me first show you how it is working let's say if at all I select uh, probably mega and let's say I'm selecting you know this date as 2015 to you know April to September and let me just click on fetch data it is saying that a particular file has got ready let me just show you that how it is coming out so yes it is mega and it is only for that period let's change change the period uh, and you know just see that it works or not so now I'm going to put 14 essentially that means it should have a lot of record and I am going to let's say put Jita let's see that it really fetches data right now if you look at this as mega data let's look at it really fetches Jita data or not and longer so let's click on this it does just go and take a look yes it is now let me explain you how it is working to do that what I have done here so if you look at you know up to this extent is very much what you are seeing in uh, workout 2 so up to this extent you are connecting database you are fetching this database you know if people have not selected you are giving warning all those things are very much same only change you are doing where we used to write into Excel now we are directly writing into a text file let me show you how do you do it all the changes are happening from here so if before this everything is very much same as workout 2 let's look at what new we have done so we define three things here file system object file file path record count and IE just a counter the first thing that we are doing we are creating a create object file system object and this is like you know I'm just getting the location of this particular workbook so wherever this particular workbook I am taking that location and then I'm creating a new text file so essentially in this location and output.txt so essentially whatever is the location of this file obviously this is the location and there I'm creating this output.txt after that you know I'm taking that how many records are there let me show it to you so that you will understand it better so when I'm clicking you know I got to know that this particular data set has 46 records and I know my data set has only three fields product quantity and date of transaction so I just wrote that way and then you know here is the all trick that is happening so I'm writing I equal to 1 to DB record count so it will take first record second record third record like that and every time you know I'm writing G record 0 which is product 0 you know here it is here it is the field name you know like what is the quantity and here is the date so this is field 0 is like the first field first field 1 is the second field field third is and in between I'm concatenating them by comma and then I'm doing rst dot move next so that it moves to the next record I'm continuing it for 46 records so that when my things gets over I will you know get 46 records let me clear this breakpoint and show it to you and then I'm showing you that look at this file so once you are, I do it you know it is done and you look at how many records we have got so if you go here what we can do we can take a look at the status bar and look at you know if we select last it's not showing status bar though otherwise it should have shown that you know these are the 49th record make a note this actually can be opened in even in Excel so essentially you can go here you can say open 
let's say output.txt and this will come like you can say delimited you can select comma you know and this will come properly but anyway you will not be doing this if at all this is a huge data because then it will hang so that's how what you learned here that how you can directly write data into a into a you know into a text file text file in csv format because what you had done here it csv they are comma separated format but not necessarily a csv file that but that doesn't make any difference and al also you understood if at all you have many fields you will be adding here with the comma and here also you will be providing the name of the he header name of the fields